Hello and welcome to a very special edition of the CKGMU Report. My name is Yankee and tonight I'm happy to be reporting on the topic of Kesem at Home 2021. Tonight, let's start off our report by going over what we've done so far this week at camp. Day one saw us starting off with a kickoff event where many of our new campers were able to meet most of their counselors and get a sense of what camp was going to be about while picking up their Kesem at Home kits. We broke off for a brief break before joining up again for icebreakers uh, with all of our camp and breaking down into our units, blue, orange, and purple. After that, we had a unit cheer off that I personally presided over and can tell you that it was impossible to pick a winner. So if you're in the blue or orange unit, just know that it was definitively a tie. Uh, to end off day one, we ended with a cabin chat where we all learned a little more about each other. This saw us into day two. Day two started with our morning broadcast of a Star Wars skit performed by some of our counselors. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend. They are some Oscar winning performances in my books. Uh, we then <laughs> transitioned into a Carl auction where all of our campers tried to represent their units the best by bringing, uh, by bringing in objects that represented the category that we had given them. Uh, the blue unit then transitioned into Nebula jars followed by rounds of Mad Libs and I Spy. Having snuck in on some of these conversations, I can guarantee you that the Mad Libs were credible stories and highly worth the read. Our orange and purple unit then delved into Family Feud, and from what I saw, it was a pretty healthy competition. We then broke for lunch and afterwards came back for a round of toothpaste. Again, highly competitive, but well worth the watch. After that, we transitioned into our normal cabin chat with our units. For days three and four, check out Scooter's report, heading to you now. Thanks Yankee, sounds like day one and two were loads of fun. Scooter here, reporting live from her living room to talk about day three and four. So day three started off with the Pixar talent show from the counselors, and that had some mixed reviews from the campers. After that, at 10 a.m., we had the charades, and that was lots of fun guessing what all of our campers are trying to act out. And then with the blue unit, we played this or that, and Pixinary. Shout out Haybell for the creative name of Pixinary. And then with the orange and purple unit, we played Hot Takes, which sparked some discussion about what people think about Disney or Pixar movies. And then we moved on to Jeopardy. After those, we had the talent show prep, which is coming up later today. Then we watched the movie Coco after some lunch, which was a fan favorite. After the movie, we had our cabin chat for the day. Day four consisted of a paint tutorial in the morning by Shortcake. Then we had some offline activities from about 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Then we had lunch. After lunch, we had our empowerment. And then after that, we had some warm and fuzzies. And then we had our empower hour, which included making bracelets, having a dance party, and playing some camp games. And then that included the end of our fourth day. So stay tuned, Yankee will let us know about our last and fifth day of camp. Thanks for that overview, Scooter. Now looking ahead to day five. Our final day of camp will start with superhero presentations from our campers. So campers, if you haven't designed your superhero yet, go ahead and do that because we wanna hear about their strengths, weaknesses, what their suit looks like, maybe even who their nemesis is or a story from them. So be prepared to present those when we get into camp tomorrow. Then we'll transition into superhero brackets. So if you're someone who has very strong opinions about superheroes, be ready to present them because we'll be deciding which superhero is the best superhero according to our camp. Then we'll transition into our normal lunch break at 12, stay there for an hour, and then come back for a round of Guess Who within our units. Campers, you can find your superhero Guess Who boards within your Kesem at Home kits, so be on the lookout for those. That will be preceded by a talent show viewing, so if you've submitted a video for that, sit back and wait for the applause. That will be followed by our cabin chat, which we usually have towards the end of the day. You guys know the drill at this point, but after that we'll join again for a closing activity to finish out the last little bit of camp. Um, and someone told me that I should tell you guys to be ready for a dance party at the end of the day, so prepare for that. <laughs> Um, this is me signing off, but before I go, I want to direct you guys back over to Scooter for some highlights from the week. Wow, day five sounds like it's going to be so much fun. 
Thanks for sharing, Yankee. Now, on to the highlights of the week. To start out with, we had the drive through which was so much fun, and it was so great to see all of you that were able to make it, and you got to pick up your Kesem at Home kit. Then, we have rocking out to Moana, Star Wars, and Frozen songs with Bubble, Blaze, and Octopus, which sounds like it was a lot of fun. And then, we have the riddle that Sequoia gave in the orange unit. I heard that gave everyone a little bit of a stump. And then we have the incredible knowledge of the astronauts in this group. I am amazed by the number of astronauts that are known. I, there were even some that I didn't even know about. Then we have the nebula jars that were made in the blue unit and they turned out awesome. And then we have the uh, baby Yoda that made his appearance and he hung out with us through the rest of the week. We also had some super cute pets make their appearance. And then last but not least, we had Cedar and Sora not being able to agree on anything this week, but they still were able to make friends. Thank you for tuning in to our newscast at Camp Kesem at George Mason, and this is Scooter signing off.